This video is sponsored by GamePrint. GamePrint gives you the ability to 3D print your customized Star Trek online ship with your own ship name and number. Hello everyone, Zeph Films here with another visual review. Uh, today, <laughs> oh, so this ship became available to people through Mud's Market. Um, I've already talked about my point of view on that, so I'm putting that just completely aside. Um, this is strictly just, we're going to look at the specs of the ship and the visual options of the ship. And I'm going to talk about the features of the ship. That's it. I'm not talking about the pricing. I just, I'm, we're putting that aside. This is, this is just a visual review. Uh, if you haven't figured out what ship we're talking about, this is the Vizier class. Uh, and I really do hope I am saying that correctly. Um, yeah, this was a very um, unobtainable ship. Uh, originally, this ship was um, only obtainable through WizKids promotion, where you bought the Enterprise E, um, which was a figurine. And in that figurine came a code for this ship. That was the only way to get this ship. And now it is available through Mud's Market. Um, currently, it is uh, 3,500 Zen. Um, the only thing I'll say is I think it's worth it. I mean, if you really wanted this ship, because getting this ship gets you the console, which will give you Battle Cloak on any of your Assault Cruisers, so any Sovereign uh, class ships. Uh, so if that is important to you, then it's a good price. Um, otherwise, Overall, it's just a nether sovereign, in my opinion. Um, but let's uh, let's take a look at those specs now. Actually, first, we're going to talk about uh, what makes this ship different uh, visually. Um, so the sovereign class, um, the hull is darker, whereas this class of ship, it's got that light blue all over it. Uh, the deflector is a brighter yellow, and the bizarre collectors are like a yellow. They look more yellow. Same with the impulse engines. Uh, so those are the only visual differences that I can really pick up on. Um, I like the color. Uh, I don't know if I like the yellow uh, bizarre collectors and impulse engines, but yeah, whatever. Let's look at the specs of this ship now. All right, so here we are. This is a command assault cruiser. Uh, it is a 4-4, four, four, so four weapons forward, four weapons aft. You have four device slots. You have five engineering console slots, two science console slots, and three tactical console slots. Uh, this ship does come with uh, a wide angle quantum torpedo, so uh, um, this is this is your standard torpedo here that has a 90 degree targeting arc. The wide angle has a 180 uh, degree targeting arc. Hey, let me just... um, the other thing that this ship comes with, it comes with this console here, which is uh, a console that completes out the three PC uh, three piece set. And we'll talk about this in a second. But so it comes with a Metreon gas warhead launcher. Uh, when this is equipped to your ship, you get plus 15% flight turn rate and plus 50 Starship Engineering Readiness. So that means it improves your engineering uh, bridge officer cooldowns. Um, now, when you activate this warhead, uh, it has a 180 degree targeting arc. Uh, it deals 6,867.6 kinetic damage. That number is subject to change depending on um, what... Uh, what stuff you have boosting kinetic damage. Uh, it creates an unstable Metreon gas cloud at your target for six seconds with a three kilometer radius. Uh, and it does 260.8 uh, plasma damage, ignoring shields every second. Uh, the target also gets negative 75% turn rate, negative 66% impulse speed, disables their cloak, and after six seconds in a four kilometer radius, it deals 17,184.2 plasma damage, ignoring shields, 999.4 plasma damage every 0 0.5 seconds for three seconds, ignoring shields. And there's a two sec or two minute recharge on that. And we will we'll do some battle and I'll activate this uh, this console just to show it off. Um, 
Now, I have these two consoles here. And the reason why I have them here is they complete a three-piece set, which I'll talk about uh, uh, in a second. Uh, this one is the incremental phase cloaking device, which comes on the uh, Archon class ship. And this is the Metreon gas canister. Um, so like I said, the incremental phase cloaking device comes on the Archon. Uh, this one comes on the Assault Cruiser Refit. It's a T5 ship that is 2500 Zen. And when you have all three of these combined, you get a three-piece bonus. So the majority of the people who weren't lucky enough to get the code for the Command Assault Cruiser, uh, they were stuck at the set. Uh, the two set bonus, bonus which is uh, 10 plus 10 percent direct energy damage and plus 35 percent flight turn rate when you have all three consoles you get battle cloak <laughs> so for yourself uh, there's a 20 second recharge when you activate this after three seconds you get plus 4980.3 stealth uh, minus five current shield power per second uh, plus 10 flight turn rate plus three flight speed, plus 50 defense rating. And then after decloaking, you get plus 15% bonus damage for five seconds. Um, the other thing that's significant about the battle cloak is you don't have to wait to get out a red alert to activate it. So if I activate, there we go. So we are in red alert now and I can activate battle cloak. There we go. So if things are getting a little hairy for you, you can activate Battle Cloak and get out of... And pretty much you can be a Romulan. <laughs> I remember the Romulan, uh, PvPing against Romulans, and as soon as their hull got like 20%, they'd Battle Cloak and bounce out, and it's just nothing but frustration. Uh, this comes with a uh, Mastery, because it is a Tier 6 ship, uh, Vent Metreon Laced Plasma. So when you activate uh, Eject Warp Plasma, uh, after 15 seconds, each plasma cloud created by eject warp plasma will explode inflicting 2678.6 plasma damage ignoring shields in a one kilometer radius uh, so if you're somebody who uses um, eject warp plasma which is this thing here um, then this is a trait that you could use I personally haven't seen anybody who uses this ability anymore, so the T5, uh, getting this ship for the T5 Mastery uh, probably wouldn't be worth it for you. Taking a look at the stations, we have a Lieutenant Commander Universal Command Station, a Lieutenant Commander Tactical Station, an Ensign Tactical Station, a Commander Engineering Station, and a Lieutenant Engineering Station. Um, I usually rip on... Uh, ships having a uh, a career specific ensign slot um, the only thing that I would say that this one is good for uh, is you can put tactical team and then rotate between the two tactical team abilities that way um, uh, you can have it up every 15 seconds uh, that's really or have an extra torpedo high yield <laughs> um, but yeah all right so that is it for the specs um, so if you're looking to round out your, um, your three piece and you want this console, then, um, I, I guess ooh, might be worth it if you're a sovereign lover, uh, or if you like to collect ships, uh, me personally, I don't mind the price tag of 3,500 Zen. This was a ship that was never really obtainable before. So if the ship does go off sale and you see it in the muds market for 14,000 zen don't <laughs> don't do it um that's that's just that's just crazy that's like going into a dealership and buying a ford focus for twenty thousand dollars over the asking price that's just that's insane just don't <laughs> um but uh let's go to the ship tailor and take a look at the visualization options for this ship all right so here we are in the ship tailor uh so here is the uh, the vizier vizier visor i don't know <laughs> um yeah i think i remember we did the archon um um visual review so everything's pretty much the same so there's the archon there's the majestic the noble, the sovereign, the regent, and the visor. Uh, so if we look at visor and sovereign, 
because they're the same frame, just different uh, hull pattern or colors, really. So there's the Sovereign, so a lot more grays and blacks across the hull. The Bizarre Collectors are red. The Deflector is not an overbearing yellow. Uh, if we go to the Visor, so brighter Deflector, different colored uh, Bizarre Collectors, and different color hull. There also seems to be more of that black specking all over the hull. Um, this defaults to Type 1 uh, for the... Uh, for the, uh, oh my god, <laughs> for the Sovereign, uh, whereas Visor uh, defaults to type 7B. Uh, interior, no special interior. It comes default with the Origin Bridge, which I will have a review coming out for, because we've done the Romulan default and we've done the Klingon default, so make sure you're subscribed. Uh, actually, yeah, this is, this is my subscriber. This is my time that I'm going to ask that you subscribe if you're not subscribed. Uh, if you find yourself watching a lot of my videos and enjoying them, please, please subscribe. Um, these are all the bridges that you can use on it. <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot here. Oh, my God. Um, yeah, but yeah, it comes default with the Origin Bridge. Uh, windows. Uh, we're going to keep the ship. We'll keep the ship like that, maybe. We'll keep it like this. So it's default to the Type 6 Windows. Let's go up to Type 1. Type 2, whoa, Type 2 seems a little much. Type 3 also seems a little much. Type 4, I kind of like that one. Type 5, and Type 6. Uh, materials, so we have, actually, let's reposition this ship. Yeah, whatever. So Type 1. I actually prefer the Type 1 on here, to be honest. But that's Type 1. Type 2. Type 3. Let's reset here real quick. Type 3. Hull looks dirty. Type 4. Type 5. Type 5 doesn't even look that bad. Type 6. Type 7. Type 7B, which is our default skin for the ship. Upgrade. Upgrade doesn't look too bad either. And Veteran. So, a little bit of a glue, bl uh, gl bl bl blue <laughs> glow on the bottom of the saucer there. Uh, but let's put it back to 7B. Uh, advanced options. Um, so yeah, everything is set to Sovereign because it, it literally is just a Sovereign, just different skin. Uh, but we could put... Let's play with the let's play with the saucer here. You could put an Archon saucer on there if you wanted. And I think that looks a little bit too wide. Uh, or you could put the Regent, which feels feels like a, a beaver tail to be honest. Um, yeah, lots of lots of different visualization options. Uh, let's put uh, nacelles. Let's put Archon nacelles on there. There we go. <coughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, it, it looks like somebody just focused on leg day and forgot everything else. All right. But let's leave it at that. And I will upload this to GamePrint. Uh, so if you wanted your own WizKid Visor class, uh, you can do that. And while I do that, I'd like to thank the sponsor of this video, GamePrint. 
GamePrint gives you the ability to obtain a one-of-a-kind, high-quality Star Trek Online ship with your name and number. You either upload a ship directly from the game, or pick one from thousands of available variations. The ships are offered in multiple sizes and finishes. Prices start from $19.99. Use a coupon code in the description and get 10% off your next order. All right, so uh, let's go to the uh, Solene Dyson Sphere. Sorry, I thought I saw something different. Yeah, let's go to the Solene Dyson Sphere. Actually, no, let's go do some battle and check out the uh, the uh, the console stuff. All right, so we're gonna test this. Uh, we're just gonna look at the console that the ship comes with, and then we're gonna try out the uh, the battle cloak. So this one, we are going to launch at this guy right here. Let's see what happens. We're in range and fire. There goes the Metreon gas thing. Oh, okay. Something else is supposed to happen very soon. There's the explosion. <laughs> There's that wide-angle torpedo. So usually torpedoes don't fire when you're banking like this. Whereas with this one, it can. As you'd see the arc there. That blue line. This is where I die. We won't let that happen. Oh no, I'm low on health. I better battle cloak. Oh, that was a bad idea. <laughs> there we go. We're battle cloaked. They can't sense us. And when we get out of battle cloak, we get plus 15 uh, damage. I guess you have to... There we go. <laughs> yeah, so when you drop out of cloak, um, you get the uh, uh, plus 15% er, plus bonus damage for 5 seconds. So, pretty, pretty cool. Uh, I kind of want to just go blow these guys up too, to be honest. Oh, I might have messed that up. I'm used, This is the canister from the, uh, the T5 ship. So when you... Uh, once it's done, it leaves all the glass and then you click the button again and it shoots a phaser at it and blows it all up. Uh, let's use this thing again though. There goes the canister. Let's cloak. Let's see what happens. So they are at 62,000 hull down to 36. And let's come out of cloak and finish them off. And then there's the incremental phase. You taunt up to five foes within five kilometers for 15 seconds. To yourself, you have immunity to energy damage for 10 seconds. Uh, and minus 50% energy damage for 10 seconds. And then after 10 seconds, uh, you get a boost in stealth. Uh, you can't be targeted. And a bunch of other things listed there. So if we launch it... So see, we're immune to damage. You see the uh, red immune words popping up. And we fire. There we go. Alright, that's enough of that. I, I have way too fun sometimes, I tell you. <laughs> uh, well, let's go to the Solene Dyson Sphere and do the uh, the shield portion of this video. All right, so here we are in the Solene Dyson Sphere. Uh, get a much better look at the color layout of this ship. So there's that blue that I was talking about, which I actually really do like. I think it's a nice color. Um, it's uh, it, it it's different. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's uh, I, yeah yeah I like that blue. So 
All right, let's uh, let's start plopping shields on this thing and uh, see what happens. Starting with the T5 Discovery Shield Array. And I'm starting to wonder if it even did anything. <laughs> I don't really notice. There's maybe a little bit of an extra shine to it, but yeah, I'm not noticing anything really different. Uh, next shield. Here's the tier six discovery uh, vanity shield. So we definitely see some extra uh, visual there. can't say I'm too crazy about it because it's just it kind of blends in so you, I, even with this one I don't notice it too much so all right next shield the adapted Mako shield array so pretty much overwrites all of that blue that we were seeing and makes it black so it kind of looks more of a uh, of the uh, sovereign class looks pretty cool I guess I don't have to do a visual review on uh, on the sovereign class now <laughs> next shield the Omega Force T5 shield array also looks really cool I see the lights are kind of glitching I think it's just because the field of view combined with how far out I am looks pretty cool though next shield here's the tier 6 uh, Omega Force vanity shield more purple next shield here's the assimilated Borg shield not bad not a lot of assimilation stuff on it but still not bad uh, let's look at the three piece whoa Okay, the deflector got scaled up incredibly big. Holy crap. Alright. <laughs> so much that it's clipping through the entire ship. Like, look at the top of the saucer. That's, that's part of those spiky prongs that come out of the deflector. It's gone right through the top of the ship. So RIP whoever was hiding out there. <laughs> uh, there's the nacelle... Uh, visual. I think that would have been more, make more sense for it to sit closer up to the front. And there's the impulse engine right there. So, geez. <laughs> Let's move on. The Nukara shield array. And the deflector isn't overly bright, and my ship is not level. I I actually had to warp out to sector space because I just noticed I was missing two shields. Uh, this one and the temporal shield, which was on my mirror cross field. So, yeah. But we got them. Here they are. That lighting right there where the registry is when we tilt around looks kind of weird. But Next shield. Here's the tier 6 Nukara shield array. like a raisin next shield the Romulan shield array this just looks weird the green and blue just don't go I mean the blue could have been a different color and I don't think this shield would have looked good anyway so yeah next shield the truly crap the Raymond shield array that's the most glowy stuff I've ever seen on a ship. Ever. Whoa. Holy crap. <laughs> All right. Uh, next shield. Here's the tier six Romulan Riemann vanity shield. Wow. That's a, uh, if you were going to be covert, this is definitely not the shield you want to be in because you probably be seen from like three sector blocks away 
Holy crap. <laughs> Next shield. The Dyson Shield Array. Interesting. Huh. This is, uh, interesting. I, I don't know what else to say. I don't. It looks oddly good. Huh. Next shield. Here's the tier 6 Dyson shield, uh, or vanity shield. Hmm. I think I'd have to go T5 personally. Next shield. The counter command T5 shield array. All them polka dots. More polka dots. I think this would have been a cool color scheme if it weren't for the polka dots. Next shield. Here's the T6 counter command vanity shield. Jesus. That's a lot of polka dots. Even more polka dots. Wow, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't like either of them. <laughs> Next shield. Delta Alliance shield array. This one's looking good. I'm not, I'm not a fan of the green uh, on like the Impulse engines and the nacelles, but the skin is really nice. I can't wait to see what Section 31 looks like on here, to be honest. Oof. Next shield. And here's the tier six uh, Delta re uh, Delta <laughs> Vanity Shield. I'm getting tongue tied. Not bad. I think I like the T5 version a little bit better though. Next shield, the Iconian Shield Array. Oh boy. Yeah, that just... no. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Uh, I think the pattern on the ship is just making the shield look weird. Uh, let's look at the T6 version. Here's the tier 6. It kind of blends in a little bit better than the T5, but still... Not my cup of tea. Anyway, next shield. The Terran Task Force shield array. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> that looks really good. Yeah. Next shield. Uh, here's the tier six. Counter command or not count? Oh my God! Terran task force shield or a uh, vanity shield? Ah, uh, nah, not mm, not bad. Next shield. Here's the temporal T five shield array. Eesh. The skin running down the side is just. Kind of weird. Hmm. Next shield. The T6 Temporal Vanity Shield. I think mean, the T6 is growing on me. I think the T6 looks better than the T5. Hmm. Next shield. The Lucari. T5 shield array. All the Tron on the bottom. Ooh, that looks pretty cool on the bottom of the, uh, the saucer. And then... Not too much on the top, though. You got some down the sides of the, uh, the nacelles. Um, I like that shimmer on the hull, though. 
Yeah, it all seems to be uh, on the bottom mostly. The only top stuff is uh, the pylons and the uh, the nacelles, really. Next shield. Here's the tier six Lucari Vanity Shield. Light purple Tron. I don't care for the coloring on the nacelles at all. <laughs> but this is all subjective. Next shield. The Counter Command T5 Shield Array. So we got our diamonds there on the belly, which actually kind of work in with the color of the ship. So not too bad. I don't think I'm going to rip on this shield too hard in this video. Uh, it kind of just blends in, so it's not so bad. Uh, the gold might be a different story, though. I guess we'll see now. Yeah, here's the tier 6 competitive war games shield array. Yeah, the gold stands out a lot more. Um... I... I don't know. <laughs> Might work for somebody. For me, I don't know. Anyway, next shield. Here's the T5 Gamma Rep Shield Array. Yeah, looks alright. Let's look at the T6. Ooh, I like that color. I don't know if it suits the ship, but I really do like this color. Hmm. Next shield. Here's the OG, the original Jem'Hadar shield array. Very weathered. Yeah, but that's the OG. Next shield, the Bajor Defense Shield Array. This shield I've been liking more. Uh, I don't know if I like it on this Sovereign, to be honest. I think because the Sovereign, uh, I don't know. There's too much of this red stuff happening all over the hull, which takes away from this brown part. I think if there was more brown all over than the red, then it would be all right, but uh, yeah. This ship, that's a, that's a no for me. Uh, next shield. The Breen shield. All sorts of nope from me. Next shield. The Aegis shield array. I can kind of get behind this one. Got some subtle uh, blue lighting happening in places. Got some on the underside there and around the deflector, around the edge of the pylon and down the edge of the nacelle. Back of the pylons there. It's kind of hard to pin it, pinpoint it out though because it this is a brighter hull so yeah not bad. Next shield. All right we're in lockbox vanity shields now. Uh, so this is the Herc lockbox vanity shield. And thanks, I hate it. <laughs> I I hate it on this ship. Again, way too much. This ship shows off way too much of like the detail patterning that I think should be more minimalized. Um, it's meant to be kind of a detail, not a overall skin, in my opinion. So this shield is a flop for me. Next shield. Here's the Ferengi vanity shield which isn't bad I don't know it's not too bad I guess yeah next shield the Kelvin divergence shield array or vanity shield sorry and yeah looks way too muted the bizarre collectors are uh, d d d d <laughs> I, I can't even words on that one I I don't like it 
The one thing I do like, though, is that we can kind of see some of the details a little bit more on the ship. Like these little, they look, they kind of look like docking ports, but. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Next shield, the Discovery Vanity Shield. Skin looks really nice. The Bizarre Collectors... Uh, I know I'm quite, kind of breaking my flow here, but... I don't know what I think about those. But the color looks nice. I really, really do like the color on here. Yeah. Next shield. The Emperor's Vanity Shield. Zoom in a little bit there. This one looks really good. I think the Terran Task Force has this one beat, though, in my opinion. But not too bad. Next shield. The Section 31 Vanity Shield. Ooh, that looks good. I like how there's almost like pinstriping down the side of the ship. That looks really, really cool. Bright blue uh, nacelles, more pinstriping down the neck and the back of the ship, or the spine, I should say. Ooh, yeah, that looks good. And next shield. And this is the pink vanity shield. Pink Tron. Again, with this one, it looks like all the lighting is kind of more on the bottom than the top. That's, that's fine. And that is it for Vanity Shields. Uh, I'm on holodeck, so I don't have the, uh, the uh, whatchamacallit, the um, Zenkethi Shield or the, uh, the Baseball Vanity Shields, but we have... 95% of them here that we just went through them. Uh, I want to thank you very much for watching this video. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what else to really say. It's I personally like the color combination on the default skin here, like the, the blue and the gray. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, Bizarre Collectors, eh. 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 And, and the Impulse Engines. Uh, I kind of rather them to be red, but not bad. Um... Thank you to our sponsor, GamePrint, for sponsoring this video and this channel. And yeah, that's, uh, that's it for this video. Thank you again for watching. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Uh, and subscribe if you're not. And I will see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.